Hi, I'm Allison Pryor and I teach acrylic paintings for the beginner step by step in real time so you can follow along with me. So now make sure your painting is dry and what you're going to do is you're going to get um, clip art. You can print them off on your computer, go to Google and, and clip and uh, search for Halloween clip art and this is a nice little bet that I found. I just cut it out and then I'm going to lay it down where I want it. I'll leave some room for my witch and I'm going to tape it down. So I'll tape it down so that it stays and then I'm going to use a bit of carbon paper. I'll just cut out a piece of carbon paper. Okay. And then I'm going to lay it underneath here. And I'm going to take a pen and I'm going to trace it out. Now, you might be able to draw freehand if you're the kind of person who don't want to trace anything and you want to draw freehand, you go right ahead. Um, I want to do this because it's faster for me doing videos. So I'm just going to trace out the outline. And then, when you get that done, all you can do is paint it in black. See how easy it is to do these little, it's almost like little crafts. And you could do these on dishes and wood, fabric, you know. You could do these little, it doesn't have to always be on canvas. It can be on anything that you can paint on. And then you could make your own crafts. Alright, let's see. Yep, almost came out. Sometimes it won't go through, so you have to go over it again a couple of times just to make sure. Before you take it off, just lift it up and make sure. Alright. Good. Now that you have that drawn out, All you have to do is take a small brush or your marker. I'll let you decide what works for you. And just paint it in. Make sure your brush is nice and small or your marker so that you can get around, get the shape. Good. Get that in there. Make sure your painting is dry before you move on to each part because if you're laying your head down, you're going to get paint on you and you're going to smear, see, and you're going to smear it on your canvas. So make sure it's dry. But you know now when you're doing videos, you forget sometimes. Good. All right, let's go in here and up here. And we'll get this little guy or gal drawn in. You might find it a little easier using a marker, but make sure the marker doesn't smear. You know, make sure it's a, a permanent marker or an acrylic paint marker. Okay. Good. Funny looking bad, isn't it? Alright. Now, see, so you get that done and then you can move on to something else. So get your clip art off of Google and whatever, you can put ghosts in there, you can put whatever you want. Just get the clip art. That will give you ideas also. It will give you lots of ideas of what to do just by using clip art. So I can also, I'll get the witch done and we'll do the same thing with the witch. You just get your clip art, put it on there, trace it out, paint it in. Same with your cat. And right now I'm going to do a pumpkin for you. So just take your chalk again. Anything you want to draw, just use your chalk. Just put in a couple of circles, really. You know, uh, let's see, let's see. Maybe just a indication of one there, one here, maybe one here. Good. And you got a stem, some leaves, if you want those. I'll just make a simple one. There we go. I see it better now. So 
I just drew them out with chalk so you can see it may not be all right good so just mix up some yellow and red together and make some orange I don't even have it totally blended I just went in some red and some orange uh, some yellow but you can have orange that's already made pre-made we want that a little brighter than the background so that can be down under the hill there good try to get as bright as I can for you Just get those pumpkins orangey color. So I'll just, uh, maybe I'll come over here a bit. Yeah, there we go. There we go, round it up a bit. The rest is behind a tree there. And there's another one over here. Now they may need, need a second coat, okay? You work on them as much as you want and uh, I'll just get you started. There we go. So I'll just get you started and then you can put in whatever you want, all different kinds of clip art out there, give you lots of great ideas, headstones, uh, ghosts, uh, bats hanging upside down from the tree, great bit of fun. You sit down with your kids and come up with ideas with your kids, let them pick out the clip art and put it in the this, in this place. So all you need, once you get your red background done, you can also have a green background. Your moon will always be yellow or white. Um, but your background can be green or blue or red, uh, whatever color you want, as long as it's a little bit dark, not a really bright color. But um, yeah, and then you can sit down with your kids and or yourself and uh, or with, a, with some friends and pick out the clip art and decide where you want everything. Make up your own Halloween, Halloween um, crafts and things. It'd be fun. So when they dry I'm going to give it a second coat to get it more orange. Okay and then we'll shadow it up. While we're waiting for that to dry I'm going to take my small round brush and I'm just going to put on my the tops here. Your stem and your leaves. Now everything is black because well except for your... Okay so Except for your pumpkins, so I have to have a little bit of a brighter color. So you can have them black or whatever color you want. All right. So nice little stems here. See, just make your leaves by a little rounding them off like that. The edge to them there. Good. All right. Don't know how you can make them scary, but there we go. Good. Off that same brush, get everything off there and put some yellow, that yellow and white mixture that you made on your brush. And then put it uh, in here for your windows. Good. And up here. Now like I say, you can do whatever you want. Maybe this little rascal here has a couple of eyes. Touch. Oh, I need more paint. So a little bit of yellow and maybe a couple of little eyes. There we go. A 
you, little cutie. That looks better, see? A few little details. Gives it a nice look. It's coming along. Okay, so I got my carbon paper still, and I've got some more clip art with Cat and which now you can have whatever you want like i said pick pick up whatever you want to put to yourself i angle the, the witch as if she's going up towards the moon instead of straight across so that made it uh, and traced it out see just put your carbon paper underneath like tape it on and then put your carbon paper underneath use a pen and trace it and if you're more into freehand it's pretty simple to draw those but I, I just want to do a little faster for you so I can get this done for you so then when you're finished take them off and all you got to do now is simple as pie you could use a marker or your your paintbrush to paint in these shapes so all you need is a very small flat chiseled edge brush if you have one what brushes that you've been using I like the filberts they get a nice round top and that helps get inside shapes. And then just, just go ahead and fill it in. Good. And since these feet are very narrow, I'm just going to use my black colored pencil to get the nice little feet there. So any areas that are hard to do with a, your, a thin brush, it's okay. Use a black marker or a black colored pencil. See? And we'll finish off the broom. Go. Good. Like I say, if, if you're having a hard time with the brushes, don't let it uh, discourage you. Just use black markers or but you want it to be an acrylic painting. So if you got your markers that are um, acrylic paint, then it will be still an acrylic painting. Alright, we'll do the cat next. Okay, I'm going to try a small round brush this time. So, what I'm trying to show you is that you should try different brushes. See what works for you. Okay? Small round brush is pretty good, as long as you can keep up against the lines. If you have a hard time staying inside the lines, then that's when you need to probably use your marker or chisel edge brush, okay? So, just do your cat. There we go. Good. Now if the cat's feet didn't come down to meet this piece of land here, all you got to do is get the land to come up and meet with the feet. There we go, see? Simple. So not to worry. We can make it all fit. Good. See how simple it gets after, once you get that background on and you get the moon done, once you get that done and you are happy with it, then you can add anything you want just using the clip art or freehand. Like I say, you can draw some of this stuff and it's fun to draw your own because you can say, look what I did all by myself. But for the sake of the video, I'm just going to do it as uh, fast as I can for you. And you can even change your clip art. Like I found the ears can be a little bigger on the cat than they were in the clip art, so you can make changes. See? These are royalty free clip art that I looked up on Google. 
you don't want to get into uh, using somebody else's if they don't want you to use it so just look up royalty free or pixabay anything that's royalty free or copyright free just want to or make up your own so just going around the tail good now all I got left to do is I'm going to put some eyes in the cat and maybe I don't think I need anything on the witch so a little bit of highlighting and finish off the pumpkins and then we're done so it won't take you very long to do something like this so you can do like you can do five or six of them for Halloween okay here's the fun part we'll work on those pumpkins in a minute but uh, the fun part is to add some white and yellow together on a tiny brush tiny liner brush and some white and some yellow just mix it together and what you're going to do is get the glow from the moon and that will really bring it out nicely so let's start with the tree so just on the very edge of the tree bring up a line start wherever you want and bring up a line right on the very edge of that tree okay now we can get the line nice and skinny that would be great um, all right so right on the edge See how that makes it nice and bright looking? Good. Get some more. And we'll go, let's see, let's see. Up around here. Then try to figure out where the, the light is coming from at the moon and, and the tree. So that's there. And there's probably some underneath here. Oops. And here, and maybe here. So wherever you want them, really. I'm gonna try to brush that brush just a bit. It's uh, making my lines a bit thick. So you have to move around with different brushes. If your brush is not working for you, you don't have to stick with the same brush. I'm gonna try this one here. See, because I'm finding that that other one's giving me my my lines are too thick. All right, so I want to show you this stuff. I don't want to just carry on and, and not show you what, what's going on. Because you might need that help. So just get some lights going on here on the edges of your branches. And that will make it look like they're nice and bright. And the glow is there from the moon. You can also, now the things that are already in the moon, no need to do that, just leave those. But with the cat, you also want to maybe put a, an eye, a couple of eyes there if you want. There we go. See, just touch. And just do the edge of the cat's tail. Because that's where the moon is shining on the tail, right? And on the back. Maybe there's some up here on the back. All right, maybe there's a little bit on the ears and the head. All right, see, I don't think there'll be anything here. I might be, maybe it's coming through. It's shiny on the back of this leg. I'm not sure, but use your imagination, decide where you think that moon glow is, is on what parts of each thing that you're doing. So I'm not sure, but it might be, you know. It's going to be on the edge of these leaves. And this one. And this one. And this one. So that really brings it out nice. And also on the edge of, probably the edge of this little arm here, little wing here and maybe on a little bit on the edge of the broom here 
So you just use your imagination and see where you think it might be. And now we definitely want some on the edge of the house. So just take the edge of the house. So I know you have your chalk lines there, but you can wipe them off. All right, so where your chalk lines were, you just put your paint, because the chalk lines will wear off anyway, eventually. You don't want that to happen. If, if you're using the chalk for highlights, that's no good. So I'll put paint on there. Good, and you got your windows in here, and you got your lighting there, and also there might be a bit of a light on top of this little hill. So there we go. So just get a, an orangey colors here for your pumpkin, and then you just need a little bit of shadow to go on those to make them look more so you just put a little bit of dark shadow by using a purple a deep purple and uh, shadow here between these two so it separates them just putting some shadows in good Trying to make this one look like it's overlapping right here, so I'll put a little shadow there just by making a bit of purplish color just to make it look like that's separated right here. And a few little, maybe I'll use black just to get some. Start in the middle, pull out, pull out, pull out. Just so you have some tops. Touch, pull out, pull out, pull out, pull out. And make a little bit of a shadow here. And here. And whatever else you want to do with that. And then you're going to put a little bit of a highlight on the edge of this one over here. And that's it. I can't think of anything else. There's lots more you can do, whatever you want to do with it. So I'll just, I think, I think that's kind of nice. So you can do whatever you want with your Halloween painting, put more uh, bats in there, some ghosts, whatever you want. And you can have a cute little painting for Halloween. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then, so if you enjoyed this video, you can give me a thumbs up or you can ask me any questions um, about this painting. You can uh, also share, share my videos. That would be a big help. And that's a cute little painting for Halloween now, see? So don't forget... There we go. All kinds of things going on there. And there's a lot more things can go on and you can make up different ones and add different bits of clip art. So that's cute. So you have a happy Halloween everybody and have fun and enjoy your, uh, your day and your painting day. And I'm going to sign out from Alison Pryor. See you in the next video.